Hello everyone, it's Nadine and welcome to Cheap Ass, the series where I test the most affordable products from the brands that we love. And today we're testing out this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. As you gorgeous people know, this is about the product, not the people behind it. Any tip you may have with them, please cast it away because this is a channel of positive energy. Okay? Thank you. Oh my god. God, what the hell is happening with this mess? I got these on sale for $4 a piece at my local grocery store, and honestly, I've heard some pretty mixed reviews about these. It kind of depends on how your skin is initially. It doesn't sound like it's the most universal foundation, but we'll see how it works on my face. According to Wet n Wild, this foundation is like your skin only better. Their new high-performance skin-perfecting foundation underwent major road testing under seven different photo lighting conditions to deliver flawless camera-ready makeup every time. Let's see what kind of skin types it says it works for it does not at least not that I can see but fortunately I do not have super dry or oily skin so I guess I already have somewhat high hopes for this I did get two shades because I'm a little bit darker than I normally am so I got cream beige and soft beige I think I'm gonna go with cream beige like that kind of looks like an okay match for me I guess all right baby let's give this thing a shake and swatch this bitch you guys know the song are you ready it's spots and time <laughs> All right, it does come with this very odd looking spatula applicator. I don't really like that because, I mean, are you supposed to like shovel that onto your skin? Because that seems a little bit unsanitary to me. It doesn't smell like there's an added fragrance, but it does smell very cosmetic-y and kind of chemically. It's not offensive, but it does smell a little bit like paint, so. We're starting with this side of my face. I have no idea how much to put on, but we are going to use a brush for this side. And then on the opposite side, I'll go ahead and use a normal sponge. Here we go with my Oh Hoo Hoo brush. This brush brings out the best in any makeup. I fucking love this thing. It blends everything out so seamlessly, no matter how good or bad the foundation is. So if the foundation is bad with this brush, then we know the foundation is legit shit. Wow, that blended out very nice. Nicely. It's not super full coverage. It's more like a BB cream. So I'm probably going to try doubling this up and putting another layer on. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Dabby, dabby. Oh, I feel like that's a lot of foundation. Did I apply way too much? I don't know. I guess we'll say. Ouch. Wow, I gotta say, I do really like the look and the feel of this. You can still tell there's foundation on my skin, but it's not like caked on there. No, it's not the most full coverage foundation ever, but it does give off like a nice natural look. But honestly, who the fuck am I kidding? When have I ever wanted to look natural? I feel like that color choice was okay. Here we are without it and here it is on. I just wanted to show you a comparison before I smear it all over the other half of my face. Here we go with the other side. I will do two layers just like I did on the other side, but we'll blend this out with a real technique sponge and see how it goes. Actually, this seems to be getting the same amount of coverage with just one coat as it did on this side. I'm not sure if it's a brush because it was like wiping it all around, but I might not even need two coats. Whoa, I actually like the sponge side better. That rarely ever happens, but I'm not even gonna apply another layer because it's just as covered as this side. I am gonna go ahead and wear this for several hours, but I thought maybe you'd want a close-up look while it's still in its prime. To me, this foundation does look really good, but I can feel my skin sweating underneath it, which kind of makes me think that this might move around a little. So I do wish I could set it, but my setting powder has titanium dioxide in it, which causes flashback, and that kind of defeats the purpose of wearing this foundation. But like I said, I will wear this, and I will see you in just a second. And we are back. It has been about five hours and I can't tell, but I think it's kind of really oxidized. Do I look darker? I I think I look darker. And I definitely think this needs set with the powder because it wrinkled up in my forehead and it's wrinkling down by my eyes and it's making me look like I have serious wrinklage. If I had applied powder, I think this foundation would be perfect because I do like the way it looks on my skin. It's just those fine lines, but it's blending right back out if I go ahead and do this. Here's a picture of me with a flash and really it doesn't look that bad. I'm kind of impressed. Overall, I do really like this product. No, it's not the best foundation in the world, but for the price, it does a pretty damn good job. The fact that I may have to set it with a powder is kind of a turn off, but it's really not that big of an issue for me. Do I recommend this? I do, but probably not if you have oily skin or if you need like super full coverage. You could certainly layer this, but I think at that point it would start to become cakey. It's more like a BB cream almost. But there you go. Don't forget my newest single, Underwater, is available everywhere online that music is sold. Thank you so much to everyone supporting it. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video and what you'd like to see on future Cheap Ass episodes. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at OfficialNady, and you can 
can follow me online at thepoplex.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye.